Hey guys, welcome to the Liberal Hive Mind, a channel solely focused on exposing the abundant hypocrisy of the left. The hero that we truly don't deserve. And of course, you might be thinking I'm talking about Elon Musk. That's accurate, Elon Musk is the hero we don't deserve. But no, this time, I'm talking about Democrat Senator Joe Manchin. I said this in my other video, folks. Joe Manchin is literally the only reason that inflation is somewhat peaked. CPI numbers came out for the month of April, hovering around 8% at 8.3% but down from 8.5% the month higher. First month since rampant inflation started, where we've seen inflation numbers actually go down. People are expecting that inflation might have plateaued. It's sort of hovering at that level. It's obviously not a good thing. It's still a massive number, and it's still absolutely terrible for the economy. But just imagine how much worse it would have been if Joe Manchin was a partisan, out-of-his-mind Democrat who just voted for everything along party lines. Imagine if Democrats passed their $3.5 trillion deal that Bernie Sanders was shilling. Could you imagine how bad inflation would be? Well, you can't, because Senator Joe Manchin, the hero we don't deserve, swooped in and saved the day and shut that whole thing down ASAP. Well, here we go. Joe Manchin once again thwarts the Democrats. He is the immovable object, the immovable moderate, who keeps stopping these radical Democrats from imposing their will on the rest of the country and calling that democracy. Let me show you guys exactly what I I mean by that but of course before we get into any of it please make sure to leave a like a comment subscribe share the video as much as possible we are still shadow banned by the youtube algorithm hidden from non-subscribed viewers and with that out of the way let's roll the tape all right folks so take a look at this tweet right over here from sahil kapoor he writes news 49 to 51 senate fails to advance the women's health protection act which would enshrine legal abortion nationwide ahead of the scotus ruling democratic senator joe manchin the last senator to vote sided with all 50 republicans to block debate. And lefties, of course, are losing their minds, claiming Joe Manchin is a misogynist, he's anti-woman, he's actually a Republican, he's a terrible person. How dare he stand in the way of the Democrat will of American voters? But of course, once again, the leftist narrative is completely bogus. Let me tell you guys something that's just going to be shocking. I mean, you're not going to believe it. Democrats and Democrat voters are lying. No way. Who would have seen that one coming? Here's Elizabeth Warren voicing her outrage. I believe in democracy, and I don't believe that the minority should have the ability to block things that the majority want to do. That's not the Constitution. What we're talking about right now are the individual rights and liberties of half the population of the United States of America. I think that's enough to say it's time to get rid of the filibuster. We need to protect voting rights. We need to protect women's rights. And understand this, Mitch McConnell has made clear, they're coming after everybody. So we need to do this, get it on the board. She believes in democracy and doesn't believe that the minority should have the ability to block things that the majority wants to do. Essentially what she's saying is that because California and New York exist in our higher population left-wing centers, that they should impose their radical will upon the rest of the country. Well, of course, we know that Democrats feel this way and we know that it's truly despicable. She claims that the minority has blocked the democratic will of the American people when once again, they didn't even win majority vote in the Senate. Once again, a Democrat voted against their agenda. And talking about democracy, she says the will of the voters. They keep citing this 70% of the American people support Roe v. Wade. What Democrats are failing to mention is the actual reason why Senator Joe Manchin voted against this bill. Democrats are claiming that this bill is to codify Roe v. Wade into American law. They've named it the Women's Health Protection Act. Why would they change the name and why are they using the typical leftist marketing misdirection tactic? Well, it's probably because the Women's Health Protection Protection Act isn't really codifying Roe v. Wade. Otherwise, it would probably be called the Codifying Roe v. Wade Act. And see, here is where the Democrats lost Senator Joe Manchin. I want to explain my position. Uh, abortion to each one of us is very near and dear to us. It's personal. It's extremely political. And today what we're going to have is a piece of legislation in front of us. It is not what I was hoping for and what I expected. Uh, I was hopeful and I was a little bit... Uh, I was waiting, you kept asking me questions, when are you going to make a decision? I've made a decision, I know where I've always stood. I was hopeful that the Democratic Party, having control of the agenda, would put a piece of legislation forward that would really codify Roe v. Wade. Seventy percent of the American public wants Roe v. Wade to be codified, as has been precedented law for 50 years. To me, that would be the reasonable, rational thing to do. 
the bill we have today to vote on, the Women's Health Protection Act, and I respect people who support it, but don't make no mistake, it is not Roe v. Wade codification, it's an expansion. It wipes 500, 500 state laws off the books. It expands abortion. And with that, that's not where we are today. We should not be dividing this country further than we're already divided. And it's, it's really the, the, the politics of Congress that's dividing the country. It's not the people. They, they're telling us what they want. And uh, it's just disappointing that uh, we're going to be voting on a piece of legislation, which I will not vote for today. It was actually an expansion, and the bill was infringing on state sovereignty and state laws that California and New York Democrats disagree with. Oh, the fabled left-wing version of democracy, doing something that is wildly unpopular, marketing a bill as something that it truly isn't. The Democrats went absolutely extreme on this bill in an effort to expand and force their radical views on American citizens and American states. They tried to pull a fast one on you, they tried to dupe you, and now they're angry that it didn't work. I mean, take a look at how dishonest these people are. Here's Maisie Hirono getting questioned on the Women's Health Protection Act and whether or not it's actually an expansion, and take a look at her response. So is this um, a bill to preserve access as it is today with Roe in place being the law of the land, or is, is the goal of the bill to expand it? The bottom line is this is a bill that is going to enable the woman to make the decision. And so we can have all kinds of arguments getting into the weeds about this, that, or the other thing. But uh, the fact of the matter is that the radical right-wing justices put on the court by the Republicans, particularly the last three justices, have decided that they're just going to overturn almost 50 years of a constitutional right. That is the bottom line, that we, through this bill, is restoring that ability of women to make the decision, not government. But, Senator, it's not getting into the weeds on this thing or the other. It's it's what the legislation is. It's what is guaranteed by it. Oh, well, that's just getting into the weeds, Maisie Hirono says, the moment the truth is unveiled. Like I always say, folks, there is no group more dishonest in American politics than the Democrats. This is what they always do. And this is the same thing that I was talking about not too long ago. The other day when I covered that Anna Kasparian video, Democrats are always claiming that Republicans are voting against our bill. Oh, they're so evil, but it's mostly because of their dishonest tactics. Let's say Democrats are proposing a bill to help minority communities. Well, they'll make this massive spending bill, they'll stuff it with a bunch of pork, a bunch of totally irrelevant stuff, mostly Democrat wish list stuff. Republicans will vote against it, maybe Joe Manchin will vote against it, and then they'll claim that Republicans are evil and don't care about black people. It's so incredibly dishonest, and it happens over and over and over again. And it shows you why they fail legislatively. They claim mud democracy mo democracy we need to end the filibuster so we can ram through any radical agenda that we want we represent the overwhelming majority of the american public and then they write these bills so extreme so far left that they can't even get it past their own party and they talk about democracy representing the majority of the country i guarantee you if most people were informed as to what the bill actually did and represented that it impeded on state sovereignty and state laws and that it wasn't just codifying roe v wade but that it was expanding ending Roe v. Wade and taking it even further, codifying abortion until birth with virtually no limits, you think 70% of the American public or anything close would support that? Give me a break. These people are extreme, they are authoritarian, they are undemocratic, and they want to change the system to force their policies, their values, and their political agenda on the rest of the country unimpeded. Now they're going to try to use this as a rallying call, headed into the midterms. Vote for us, folks. We need a Senate majority because we're Republicans and Senator Joe Manchin are stopping us from codifying Roe v. Wade. Meanwhile, that's literally not what's going on. These people thrive off of misinformation, manipulation, and just flat out lies. These people are legitimately unhinged and extreme, and so are their voters. After Joe Manchin once again does the right thing and stands up against Democrat dishonesty, what do you think Democrat voters are doing online? They're doxing him and calling for people to show up at senators' homes. Sure, it's easy to say things like Joe Manchin has a publicly accessible home address, but isn't it more exciting to say every single person who voted no has a publicly accessible home address? This person writes, Joe Manchin, if he were Walter White, my name is Joe Manchin, I live at, and then literally 
Docs is the guy. Ah, leftoids and their democracy. Vote for our dishonest, deceptive bill, or you're anti-democratic. Abolish the filibuster to protect democracy. If you don't vote our way, we will dox you and intimidate you, because that's what democracy is all about, according to these authoritarian, out-of-their-mind leftoids. This stuff is unreal. But let me show you guys real democracy. Take a look at this from the morning consult. Over the last year, Senator Joe Manchin has seen the largest job approval rating improvement of any senator. Literally every single senator. Joe Manchin has seen a 16-point increase in his approval rating during Joe Biden's presidency. Literally every single senator is listed here. And Joe Manchin is the one that has seen the most increase in support and approval rating. But he's the one who is supposedly acting against American democracy. I mean, give me a break. These leftoids are just so dishonest. And Joe Manchin, once again, saves the day. Although not really, because the Democrats would have needed 60 votes to pass the bill in the first place. But still, Senator Joe Manchin tells his own dishonest party to take a hike once again. That's what I got for you guys, though. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to leave a like, a comment, subscribe. Share it as much as possible. We're still shadow banned by the YouTube algorithm hidden from non-subscribe viewers. I'm going to get back to work, though. I want to thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.